This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. Dear Obama, from Infosc. By Robert Graham. Dear President Obama. We are more than willing to believe Russia was responsible for the hacked emails, records that influenced our election. We believe Russian hackers were involved. Even if these hackers weren't under the direct command of Putin, we know he could put a stop to such hacking if he chose. It's like harassment of journalists and diplomats. Putin encourages a culture of thuggery that attacks opposition, without his personal direction, but with his tacit approval. Your lame attempts to convince us of what we already agree with has irretrievably damaged your message. Instead of communicating with the America people, you work through your typical system of propaganda, such as stories in the New York Times quoting unnamed senior government officials. We don't want unnamed officials, we want named officials, namely you, who we can pin down and question. When you work through this system of official leaks, we believe you have something to hide, that the evidence won't stand on its own. We still don't believe the CIA's conclusions because we don't know, precisely, what those conclusions are. Are they derived purely from companies like FireEye and CrowdStrike based on digital forensics? Or do you have spies in Russian hacker communities that give better information? This is such an important issue that it's worth degrading sources of information in order to tell us, the American public, the truth. You had the DHS and U.S. CERT issue the Grizzly Step, report attributing those compromises to Russian malicious cyber activity. It does nothing of the sort. It's full of garbage. It contains signatures of viruses that are publicly available, used by hackers around the world, not just Russia. It contains a long list of IP addresses from perfectly normal services, like Tor, Google, Dropbox, Yahoo, and so forth. Yes, hackers use Yahoo for phishing and malvertising. It doesn't mean every access of Yahoo is an indicator of compromise. For example, I checked my web browser, chrome colon slash slash net internal slash hash DNS, and found that last year on November 20th, it accessed two IP addresses that are on the grizzly step list. No, this doesn't mean I've been hacked. It means I just had a normal interaction with Yahoo. It means the grizzly step IOCs are garbage. If your intent was to show technical information to experts to confirm Russia's involvement, you've done the precise opposite. Grizzly Step proves such enormous incompetence that we doubt all the technical details you might have. I mean, it's possible that you classified the important details and declassified the junk, but even then, that junk isn't worth publishing. There's no excuse for those Yahoo addresses to be in there, or the numerous other problems. Among the consequences is that Washington Post story claiming Russians hacked into the Vermont power grid. What really happened is that somebody just checked their Yahoo email, thereby accessing one of the same IP addresses I did. How they get from the facts, one person accessed Yahoo email, to the story, Russians hacked power grid, is your responsibility. This misinformation is your fault. You announced sanctions for the Russian hacking. At the same time, you announced sanctions for Russian harassment of diplomatic staff. These two events are confused in the press with most stories reporting you expelled 35 diplomats for hacking, when that appears not to be the case. Your list of individuals, organizations is confusing. It makes sense to name the GRU, FSB, and their officers. But why names are security but not sole proprietor Lisa Esed Shevchenko? It seems a minor target, and you give no information why it was selected. Conversely, you ignore the APT28 slash APT29 dukes, cozy bear groups that feature so prominently in your official leaks. You also throw in a couple extra hackers, for finance hacks rather than election hacks. Again, this causes confusion in the press about exactly who you are sanctioning and why. It seems as slipshod as the DHS slash US cert report. Mr. President, you've got two weeks left in office. Russia's involvement is a huge issue, especially given President-elect Trump's pro-Russia stance. If you've got better information than this, I beg you to release it. As it stands now, all you've done is support Trump's narrative, making this look like propaganda, and bad propaganda at that. Give us, 
the Infosk, Cybersk community, technical details we can look at, analyze, and confirm. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.